Hey guys, what's up? I'm doing a video on replacing the uh, rear shocks on uh, 2006 uh, second generation PT Cruiser. So I uh, I took it to uh, took it to uh, Sears Auto Center, and um, they were quoting me. Uh, $20 in labor for each side if I use their Gabriel shocks but then I um this is a uh, then I uh, in West Covina by the way and then I took it back with my own shocks I went and I bought a, some uh, a couple of gas adjusts hoping that they'd honor their $20 uh, labor cost on each one mind you that the that the uh, the cost for all of the um, the work, including their shocks, with lifetime warranty, right, quote unquote, was about 158 bucks. So I bought these gas adjusts, and then um, if I brought my own shocks, they were charging me $40 in labor each uh, for each side. So that's $80 in labor. So when I did the math in front of the guy, I'm like, dude, so what you're telling me is that it would cost me more to put my own shocks through you guys with you guys having absolutely zero warranty and no lifetime warranty and guarantee he kind of stood dumbfounded and going uh he's like well that's that's the price so no worries not a big deal but just want to say that um they could have just told me over the phone versus making me drive over there so um yeah i'm a little annoyed about that so anyway so i went out back to sears and bought myself this uh craftsman so that's my experience at the auto center in West Covina. However, I went back to the regular Sears and I bought this uh, Craftsman Jack. Well, two days ago it was for uh, $99.99 and I walk in, no, three days ago, it was on Wednesday, $99.99. I walk in yesterday and it's $109.99. So I'm like, fuck, now it's $10 more. I asked the manager, hey, any chance uh, you, can, uh, you can honor that? His name was Scott, cool guy. He just handled it. He said, absolutely no problem. He honored the price. I had a $10 uh, coupon for uh, uh, for any Craftsman tool, off for any Craftsman tool. So I got it for $99.07 with tax out the door, which for me was perfect. Came with this uh, jack, the two floor stands, jack stands, whatever they're called, and this little thing. Um, so. I've uh, I've already replaced this other side. You can see the the gas adjust back there, and I wanted to give a couple of pointers because I know there's a there's another video, and I'll give him props because uh, his video was helpful. But um, a couple things: if you're installing a non OEM, like in other words, a gas adjust, it's a little different. It's not like the standard OEM ones that uh, they're very slinky, like these. See, these are the, the ones that come on the car. They just move. The gas adjust, I mean, they're like, they're like a rock. They don't move. They don't, they don't do this. See this? See this? The gas adjust don't do that. They're really tight. So, the only way to, to do it is is by using a smaller or a bigger second jack or if push comes to shove landing the car on your floor on your uh, uh, dude your jack and using your floor jack to do this over here but since I had access to this little jack I'm using it what you can see is is I've pushed it just enough to where I can line up the holes and that's what you have to do. You have to play with it. I have to do it a few times to where now the way that I have it lined up. See, I tighten this up so it's just kind of loose. But check that out. So it's there, right? And then it should just slide, slide right in. See, slides right in. So that's how you want to do it. You want to make sure that you can just slide it in by using a second jack to jack up the car um, it's gonna be hot today and I ended up trimming the tree 
Um, not the smartest move now that I think about it because now all my shade's gone. But uh, I'll probably end up doing the breaks. Maybe wake up at like 5 or 6 in the morning when the sun breaks uh, and try and do the back breaks and the front breaks and see if there's any other pointers that I can do. Other than that, I appreciate your time. And um, thanks, Scott, for hooking me up with this uh, $10 off on that uh, jack. Peace.